In this video, I am going to be sharing with you a really effective blitz out of the Big Nickel Over G. We're going to be showing you why I think Big Nickel Over G is a very valuable defense, especially with the current uh, defensive meta. And to illustrate this, we're actually going to show it against U Trips. Um, and a couple reasons why I think Big Nickel Over G is just continuing um, to stand the test of time as far as a usable and effective defense. Uh, for the current meta. Now, if you want to get my entire Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook, we have updated it a couple different times recently um, to showcase why it is so good against the current meta. You can get access to the full defensive ebook by joining our Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description to that. That's where you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check that out, again, the link is in the description below. 10 bucks will get you access to everything. So cover two is making a comeback, and I want to explain why that is the case. Um, and it really revolves around some key um, functions within Cloud Flats. And if you're going to run zone in this game, and then also if you're going to run match coverage, um, and even if you're going to run main coverage, it is basically becoming a off coverage meta or an off coverage year. Uh, which actually plays to the Big Nickel Over G's strengths. You're going to see here, when I show Blitz, if you look at these outside cloud flats, they're they're not pressed. And if I were to base a line and then show Blitz, you would notice that they're even off just a little bit more. They're about five yards of depth off. What this does is it significantly helps when we talk about playing corner routes. So you're going to see here, that this outside cloud flat, they actually got kind of some decent depth. Um, another thing, and I did a tip on this from Dollar, that you can actually go ahead and manually back off, um, you know, manually back these guys off if you want to as well. So you'll see here, you know, we're just going to manually kind of give a little shade outside over top, whatever. Um, but what you'll see is this this uh, quarter route to the tight end. Let's say they did a concept like this. Again, because that cloud flat is off coverage, these sharper quarter routes that are really good against man, they don't get separation against these clouds. These clouds actually split what I call split the difference well. Um, and so we can kind of formulate a scheme uh, around this. And so uh, what I want to show you today, though, is a way that we can get pressure uh, from this same basic look as well. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to base a line. We're going to show blitz. And again, when we do this, it's going to give us this really advantageous pre-snap look. And we want to utilize these two slot uh, corners or slot safeties, rather, as really the hallmark of the defense. And so when we want to drop heavy coverage, you know, we're going to do something like this, as you can see. When we want to drop, um, you know, maybe heavy man coverage, we might go to cover two man and do basically... The same concept as you can see right here. Um, you know, maybe do something like this. If we put, um, you know, some linebackers down here, whatever, they're going to be able to play better coverage. You know, so we could even do something like this. And you see how this defense can really, um, you know, kind of mix, match, man, zone, pressure, all of those things together uh, really, really, really well. And then also uh, with the pressure look, we're going to baseline show blitz, pinch your line, crash your line out, and then we're going to take both of these guys on the outside, and we're going to send the corners. So we're going to send a double-edge blitz. Now, this double-edge blitz is going to be very, very effective uh, for attacking, you know, any kind of, you know, any kind of standard pass protection. So we're anticipating from this that they're going to be blocking their, um, you know, their line. So what I like to do with this is simply take this left side player, and if we're if we're playing a solo, we're going to put him in a third. If we were playing twins, like there was two receivers over here, then we would just split the difference and put him in a half. And so you see here, this this very simple defense. I think is one of the better ones in the game. And you can take this backside linebacker, put him in a hook curl, and you see here, we're going to send six. Now, if the running back goes to the flat, we're going to go use for that running back flat. And you see how fast this pressure is going to get in on the opponent. Now, another thing you can do in a solo situation is we can do some really interesting coverages 
from Big Nickel over G. So you see right here, now we're just going to man that solo wide receiver up so we now don't have to worry about him whatsoever. Now if the running back blocks, we're going to kind of come over here and we're going to help out with this tight end route. So you see here, rack blocks, we're going to kind of suck inside and then basically become a robber in the middle of the field. Again, this is going to open up a lot of coverage possibilities. So what you'll see we're going to do here is we're actually going to double flat. So we're going to take a hard, we're going to have that inside hard flat from the linebacker, and then we're going to have an outside cloud flat. So this flat is going to drift outside well. And then what you'll see here is we'll be able to kind of help lurk the underneath middle. And you see that even though they're blocking running back, this can be a very advantageous pressure. Now, the, hopefully you stuck around to the end of this piece because I want to show you this little interesting um, defense that you can pair as well with this. One of the most underrated adjustments from this is that you don't actually need to blitz your defensive tackles uh, to get this slot edge pressure. We know this from the dollar 3-2 meta, right? So what we can do is we can take this nose tackle or uh, this this uh, defensive tackle, Vita Vea, and drop him in a vertical hook to that trip side. So now we have essentially a double Mabel coverage to the right and then we have a solo check if you will out of a match variation to the left where if the running back doesn't go out now we're free you know to just simply be this middle of the field defender so you'll see right here I'm going to block the running back and what you'll see pressure comes in off both edges and we have a absolute bag of coverage within um, within this defense. Let me show you this replay. Again, like I said, you don't have to send six to get double edge pressure. And we're starting to see this meta emerge where it's really powerful uh, to drop these D linemen. And I 100% agree with that. Um, but you get a stronger seal on the edge with Big Nickel than you will out of any other formation in the game. So you see here, we get that strong suction of that guard inside without even having to really use her. And then you see we already have our standard pressure coming off the left edge. There's literally hardly anywhere to throw this football uh, to the outside. Now, this has massive implications from a coverage perspective. You don't just have to run. This is not the only way to run the U-Trips uh, defense, right? Um, we also know that one of the things that our opponent is going to want to do when they're running this U-Trips meta is they're going to want to motion this guy inside or across. What you see here is... Um, is what we can easily do uh, to kind of counter this is to simply just switch on to this linebacker and then what I like to do is man up this left side. I just I don't feel like it does us any good to play a lot of zone on this back side of the U trip set. It's just my opinion. You know, so if we got a set like this, all right, we could go with something like this and we're kind of in the same basic um, in the same basic format here where we're gonna have that that vert hook dropping, and if we see that running back going around, we're just going to go with him to the flat, as you can see. And you see how good a pressure this can create. So there's a lot you can do with Big Nickel, um, in my opinion. And it all what I want to really drive home here is I'm a big proponent that you have to, whatever defense you're going to run, you have to make it all look the same. So we want our coverage look to look identical to our pressure look. So if this is our coverage look, then we need to make sure that this looks identical to our pressure. So now they're gonna block our running back to try to pick up this blitz, maybe try to hit us vertically. And you see here that we're able to get really good sheds only sending two or three out of big nickel. And it looks exactly the same as when we send six. To me, these are the keys to defense uh, and a really, really important distinction. With this defense here, what you're able to do, and if you can use this this defender, um, Winfield, well, you could even use her on him. And now what this does is it gives you that same kind of nickel overfeel where we could at any point in time send seven or eight. But we can also drop a significant amount of coverage, um, you know, to either side of the formation. So if we wanted to drop coverage, you know, to the right, we could do something like this. And now we're in a, a really nice little coverage defense where everyone is accounted for deep down the field. So this is the beauty of Big Nickel over G. It's ability to adapt. It's ability to, again, keep the same look regardless of what you're actually doing, which I think is a super underrated piece of defense this year.
Um, you have to make everything look the same. It's too easy to just beat a cover two or beat a cover three or beat a cover four or beat a match coverage. If you can make everything look the same, disguise it, call man at the right times. The beauty of this is we can actually, if we go to like a, a cover two man, if we base align it, we're going to get a very similar look. We may not get the exact look. We may have to manually back these guys off on the outside, you know, but we're going to get a fairly similar look. You know, so we can bring this guy down. We could do something like this. Um, you know, if we want to, if we want to set up our coverage like so. And then now, you know, they're expecting pressure. We've got coverage. Uh, we've got really interesting little shaded down coverage variation to get underneath some of the routes. So, anyways, um, if you want to learn the whole big nickel over G defense. I'd really encourage you to get that. I think it's really a, a pretty impressive uh, defense this year. I think the more we play through it, um, and hopefully they eventually pass to safety stuff, but we teach you in the ebook how to work around it, how to use it to your advantage. So anyways, if you want to get my full Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook, or if you want to get any of the other ebooks that I have, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up to become a member. And like I said, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and we will see you at the Patreon page.